Hello one, my name is Zonboy. Welcome to this is the post. I'm my friend, but the here. Can can you sit down? Say hello to the people. Uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, hello. My name is. Uh, um, hello, my name is Butte, and I'm as a guest over Johnny Boy. I will, I will just be Johnny Boy's advisor, but I will not. I, I will not be any player in this game. I will just advise John on some choices. That's all. Well, this is the police and let's get into the game. Sorry, a new game. Yeah, sure, I didn't come so far. Slip up, man. Major Rogers, Sex Maniac. Mark War 2 to be shown in Freebird. Damn it. Nej, jag tänkte fixa det. Jag tänkte ändra mina inställningar. Jag vet. Jag vet. Jag tänkte ändra inställningarna. Så är det Ja. Du behöver inte höra. Jag tänkte ha samma inställning som du har. To your story. Do this. When I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday I turned 60, but I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus, it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell blame everyone else though I damn sure do blame them and don't even ask me what my next move is I can't imagine but even that doesn't scare me the worst thing is I know I'm gonna have to do something and I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go I may have a lot of vices but predictability isn't one of them I learned a long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. Well, well. Well, 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 well. What choice are you going to pick now? Good morning. Well, is the reporter that saying that? Or who is saying that? Yesterday, the mayor's office officially announced your registration. Re re Regination. For the fuck's sake. Did this. <coughs> did this come as a sub. Can you. Who's the porter? Did this come as a surprise or did you know about this advance? Uh, surprise? 
about to be working as a policeman for another five or ten years, so I just wanted to serve the city. I was very surprised, of course. Do you already know the name of your successor? Uh, <laughs> I like the options that who cares? I don't care about the people. Uh, what? Uh, well, I, I would say that uh, you don't want to trust. I mean, whatever you read is for the news. I mean, you want this to look good in the news, so probably you should pick, like, I think it's a new man, or maybe you should pick, I don't know. Well, you can't say it's a department veteran because you don't know for sure. I think it's a new man. I think they'll <coughs> bring in some new blood, a fresh mind, to take a fresh look at their problem. After the recent corruption scandal, your deputy Francis Kendrick said he was looking forward for resigning. If the mayor offered him your position, would that change his mind? Uh, perhaps. If the mayor offered him your position, would that change his mind? No, but I don't think Kendrick is... Perhaps. We, we don't know that yet. No, no, no. I, I won't say that. It's probably no. I mean, recent corrupt scandal, nobody... I mean, if you're gonna say real life... No, it's not happening in real life. He will most lack and likely he will retire. If he does even get this position, he will, most people will hate him because the recent corruption scandal, nobody wanted to look forward to have this guy as a ch chief of police. They will probably look at him and discuss. I mean, would you actually respect an, an police chief that had this recent corrupt scandal? Well, if he regrets it. Uh, if he had yeah, regrets yeah. about the uh, <clears throat> scandal and all that. Yeah, but... For him, if he regrets it or not, it's a matter of the people. What they they think, most likely they will hate him. Then they, I mean, only few people will sympathize with him, but I don't think they will. I choose. I choose, um, who cares really? Just, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter at all. Well. It's your choice, really. There's not much choice to do. If there is a group, then. It could perhaps change his mind if he wants to stay longer, but I don't think. Sounds possible if he thinks the new officer would help him start to sit out a little bit longer. <coughs> <coughs> Although Kendrick was a quite. Many still believe that the police are cooperating with the Mafia. Do you have anything to say about this? Uh... No comment. <laughs> no comment. I don't... Bullshit! Well, bullshit. Yeah, we had also bullshit. <coughs> well, I don't know. Well, it is bullshit. It's not my option to give. <coughs> Excuse me, but that's don't a pile of horseshit. You should say horseshit on YouTube, really. Horseshit. The, the mafia and the police working together. Maybe they're in cahoots with the aliens. Mafia are a bunch of low-life criminals. How about some? Ask a real question. <laughs> Do you think your personal relationship with the mayor could be a reason behind your retirement? Uh, how should I know? Uh, I would say definitely no. This has no way. This reason, I would say no. Possibly. Possibly. Possibly he hates your guts. I can tell you that. 
it's often difficult to say that was guys poli policy policy decisions. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome for that African American water. Oh, don't. How's the back Let today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. <coughs> don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially Mr. Kendrick. As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. White summer shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, and the white smile of a hungry shark. Mayor Rogers enters every room like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking an apology. He never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. That's about the only difference. Jack, I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Well, this morning I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon you won't be able to smoke here either. <laughs> Soon enough I won't be here at all. If that's what I wanted to talk to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief of all people. <laughs> Don't, uh... Don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and, uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only thing that you still have left. Be the hero. Then how am I supposed to scrape together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension. One that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. One hundred and eighty days quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't have any problems with you, and you won't have any problems with me. I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a, he's a busy man. <laughs> I'll do my best. And quit smoking up the office. One of my friends will be using it soon. Oh, fucking... Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. Only the mayor has this number. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, just... Go, go fuck, fuck yourself, yourself Troy Star. Star. Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder to shoulder with your partners. Everybody just takes snacks from the machines or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. The main thing? Don't look into anyone's eyes. Could be construed as an invitation to sit together. The only people eaten here are ghosts.
my deputy, Francis Kendrick. He recently became one of those ghosts, the subject of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freeburg. No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. I need that file I asked for. Needs to be ready tonight. Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. Besides, I got a feeling he was already finished. What are you doing? I'm just uh, trying to hear. They behave, think they? The Indian some prata and nothing. What are you doing? Would you like to receive tips on how to show me what you got? Reburn PD organize some coming work assignments into shifts for today and tomorrow. A shift officer respond to crimes in progress and detectives continue their investigation. <coughs> you can freely move employees between shifts. Okay. All officers have detectives. All officers and detectives possess several important cars. Oh. Yeah, I remember that. Professionalism show the overall efficiency level of your policeman. <coughs> if you, you're around 150 <coughs> average, any policeman who falls short of his mark is not entirely reliable. While those whose professionalism is considered higher than average are safe bet, but even a pinch, even in a pinch, an uh, individual's level of professionalism may rise and fall over the course of their career. Energy show how tired your policemen are. The less energy your people have, the less reliable their work. And a policeman who is exhausted might fall asleep at the wheel or <coughs> make a critical error on the job. Your employees lose one point of energy after each working day and restore one point after each day of rest. Your employees don't don't tell you everything. Some additional characteristics are hidden from you from instant some cops of AC and will come up with any reason they can think of take the day off. While others drink too much, you can only guess about these things. But you should be able to draw your own conclusion based on the behavior of your employees. Envy your best employee, Price. Price. <laughs> she sucks! She's in the retirement age. You need to fire her. If I ask him, you need to fire her. The back, I don't know. She sucks. Yes, she did. the best. And the And the best. And yeah, I'm trying to read. Hit that rain. Well, you guys can read yourself, pause the video, or anything like that, so. A couple of exists in uh, so I saw a van parking lot. God damn that's loud.
time they come. You can't, you can't, not here. You can't, not. Music! You can't. Why not? Because I don't want to hear music. You really want to music to the gameplay. Why? Those teen with puberty crisis. <laughs> Send in Coach She. Which is Coach She, probably. She can handle it. Trust me, she can handle it. Two teenagers, she can just give them hand jobs and everything. Fuck's sake. Don't make that kind of comments into the freaking. I'm, I'm just a mess of brother. A brother and a sister clash with each other. According to one of the lawyers, we don't dare separate them. You know, our security guard is off duty to it. Well, we should look at sending <sighs> Purdy. Just Purdy. Save officers, you always need officers as backup. You never know when it's going to be a riot or something. Remind me of well the fire price. Assault. Pass it by. Assault. Some teenager attack. An enemy position. Then run away with his guitar and his money. Well. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yancy. Yancy. Only him. You can pause the video and read by yeah. yourself. Your sex video? Yeah, probably. Oh, I told you people, puberty crisis. Sneaking. No, that's not. Turn on the sign. No, 
it's making me. Yeah, it dropped there. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. I think. Masturbation. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Let's surprise them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's two years, right? Surprise them. Yeah, turn on the sirens. Surprise them. Yeah. No, they're gonna get some hands. Um, no, don't make, don't make dirty comments. I don't want that on my videos. Fight. Good job, party. She kicked the man and the woman and she slapped her with one hand. Double slap. You not handle it. You are you, you pathetic, Yancy. You pathetic. Come on, you couldn't. It was two teenagers. One. You couldn't handle them. To ask, I mean, uh, Kochi could have two teenagers, and you couldn't have two teenagers right away to get down. Did it play? Did it play Titanic for you? Take those who you, who are fresh. You can take coach it. You, you're gonna need cops tomorrow. <coughs> or the work tomorrow, coach it, party, the best one you can offer. And then they can. Uh, Yancey or anyone. Okay, how about take Yancey and party. And then Armstrong. And oh, goddamn old Armstrong, my favorite. In the beginning, of course. And then the Pudo. I'm gonna say Maul. Maul's a good detective. We need to have her in the shift A and B. <coughs> Never mind. What? Do you, by the way, what? End of the day. That's enough. We don't need a Maul says. Used to be, when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Internal affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face, the fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point, every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Probably sounds crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. Don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious. Just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business. And I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later... They'll put the finger on you. And, and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Sand. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. 
Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, San pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an artist without asking permission and his whole family paid the price. In four weeks, San killed 31 people. Old men, women, even a few teenagers. And San's people made sure every paper reported it. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. No, Troy. Troy, we need Troy. We need you to get fired today. So, no, if you leave, you're gonna get fired. And by the way, how old are you? I mean, your father's probably dead. I'm not. No offense, but I mean, you are like 50, 60 years old, and he's probably 90 or 100. I don't know if he has the strength to hit your mom, really. <laughs> to hit your mom, really. So, no. Do you, what you think, John? Is my come tomorrow? Look at her. She, she looks like how she has a dad anymore. <laughs> Kidding me? You want to take off just because of a bad luck thing? But well, I'm not the believer, and I'm not the deliver, so no. You can pause the video and read by yourself. Yeah. Pause the video and read by yourself. No, never mind. Nope. Not this time. Okay, don't promote any uh, black officers so far because you're gonna um, sadly have to fire them. So I will. How many do I need to fire? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you need to fire Armstrong? If you want to see the to be happy, if you want approval of new officers, I'm sorry, but you have to. I'm sorry, but if you want to have the good side with them. Damn, I hate. You don't, it's not about color or race, it's about keeping the, your job. And keeping your job, yeah, but no respect for The best people. thing you can do is promote the best, you can promote some people to become a promoter, she's been good handling it. Yeah. And, I think 
it's maybe time to promote Samuel. You mean somebody? Somebody. Good job. I'm sorry, but you have to fire your your fellow black officers. Some of them you can't fire because some is old. Music. Get it by yourself. Uh, I would recommend picking this. This is good music. Gentlemen and ladies, we need to fire Bush Jr.'s dad. Or should we keep them? She's just a dancer, please. for a king. Swing, sweet ginger, swing, sweet ginger green. Then we need to make him work double shift in that case. Yeah. And him too. And also, yeah. To go down, go down to the B shift. She needs to work double shift, go down. And he, they must work double shift. All the time. Then we make them extremely tired. Okay, go to Labour Rocket, you have free option. Hire by people. face a woman. Anna Sandstorm. <laughs> Strong. Okay. 
and I am Armstrong. Shift B. Okay, that's all you can hide. But well, I'm done. Soon you'll be given the option to send them to training academy. I will recommend you to send them to the but you will have many officers gone. Stowell and Robbins, since it's last day, like, make the best of what we can. Stowell or... Robbins. Robbins. Robbins is a good officer, but I'm sad we need to fire him. You can, you can hire back black officers if you want to later, after this crisis is over. When the crisis arrives, I mean, not now. This is Harley Jones. I'm sending Roy, um, Vandell, Grant, and... Uh, sending Grant? No, no, the Grant. lead officer needs to be Vandell. And then Butcher Butcher. <laughs> Butcher Butcher. The father and son. Thanks. 